Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is bioethanol preparation. More specifically, if I say preparation of second generation bioethanol. This bioethanol is actually a useful biofuel because it's a carbon neutral in nature and it is better against the climate change. Before going through the details, one MCQ for you. What is the true statement regarding acetal? So this is actually the structure of acetal. I request everyone to attempt this in the comments. And don't worry, at the end of the discussion, we'll have the right answer with proper explanation. So now let's start. What is biofuel? So biofuel is actually any kind of fuel that is derived from biomass. What is biomass? That's a plant or algae material or animal waste. Whatever fuel produced from this biomass is called as biofuel. Example, biogas like methane, biodiesel, which is a fatty acid, methyl ester or bioethanol. So from here, you can understand many types of biofuel available. So which of the biofuel is most reliable for this purpose? answer is second generation bioethanol. Now you will be surprised sir what is second generation why not first generation what is the difference so for that purpose let's learn what is 1G and 2G bioethanol. This 1G or first generation bioethanol is actually made from sugar or food source actually this sugar or this food source are actually energy crop or energy rich crop but it's a little bad to use food for fuel generation However, this problem is actually addressed when the ethanol is prepared from agricultural waste or industrial waste product. And this is called the second generation bioethanol. If I say compared to 1G bioethanol, 2G bioethanol is one step ahead or advanced in technology. But what is the controversy or problem with the first generation bioethanol? That is actually food versus fuel controversy and benefit from economical and environmental point of view. What is the food versus fuel controversy? The food versus fuel dilemma regarding the risk of diverging farmland or crops which are energy rich food crops for biofuel production because it may insecure the food security of the world because nearly 800 crore people live in this planet and because of climate change or abnormal climate pattern the crop production is not that much secure. Now, if we convert some amount of crop produced here for fuel production, there may be a shortage in food. So that is the main concern. And if you look at here, US corn production and portion used for fuel ethanol, you can understand this rate part, which is used for ethanol preparation is increasing. So overall corn production remaining as a food is not that much increasing. That is the thing. And not only that, this industry runs on subsidy. So, I shall discuss this thing in a later one new video. Now, what is the solution of this? Utilization of any kind of organic waste or byproduct for ethanol generation. So, you are utilizing waste or byproduct, you are not using any food material. So, that could be better. So, energy will be produced, but food material will not be utilized anymore. So, in this case, one question may come in our mind agro byproduct or agricultural byproduct. What is the fate? Actually, these byproducts are also biomass. And what is their consequence on environment? You can see here, stubble burning share raises 26% of daily air pollution. Air quality index points severe. So it is dangerous for breathing. So it can result in lots of lungs related issues. And why this has happened? Because the farmers from Punjab and Haryana, they burn the crop residues on their field so that is the issue now a question if they can utilize this crop residue to something else very good and what is biomass in this context those crop residues are more accurately if i say is actually a matter from recently living but now it is great organism which is used for bioenergy production for example wood or wood residues energy crop residues or agricultural residues including straw like rice straw, wheat straw, etc. And organic waste from industry. So you can understand these are byproducts. Whatever previously utilized to burn in case of daily to prepare air pollution, that could be utilized to fuel preparation. So that's a very good thing. There are also a good economical aspect, but I am not going to do that. I will focus mainly on the preparation chemistry. If you want that video, please write in the comment box about the economic and environmental aspect of this bioethanol. Now, what is the chemistry for 2G bioethanol preparation? So, in simplified way, if I say 
first this sugar is treated with acid or enzyme to get simple sugar which broken down by enzyme to get this 2g bioethanol but it is not that much simple you can say first this lignocellulosic biomass lignocellulosic means two part one is lignin another is cellulose so these biomass is first undergo uh, you may consider small pieces making so such that it could be utilized for the pre-treatment pre-treatment could be acid like chemical based or enzymatic based both so be, after pre-treatment hydrolysis is done this hydrolysis could be done with maybe acid or maybe enzyme now after hydrolysis this polysaccharide or complex carbohydrate is converted into simple sugar and this simple sugar could undergo fermentation and produce ethanol but this ethanol is actually diluted ethanol so if you want to get fuel grade ethanol you need to enrich it by distillation so first this ethanol is recovered and dehydrated means water is removed and later on it is converted into second generation bioethanol so this is the overall process now in this case you should remember one important concept that is hydrolysis of acetyl and ketyl remember the acetals and ketals are stable in alkaline condition but they undergo hydrolysis in acidic medium so they are not stable in acidic medium i guess you got the answer of your question now not only that hemiacetals they can undergo hydrolysis in both acidic or basic medium now you will be confused sir what is acetal one what is ketal so this is student as this is if this is hydrogen this this is acetal means product from aldehyde and if it is another r group then that is ketal this is and what is hemiacetal if one of the this or is replaced by oh that is hemiacetal by the if you take a carbonyl compound first hemiacetal is produced and later on it converted to this acetal ketal now so what is this lignocellulosic bio as I told, one part is lignin, nearly 10 to 20 percent, and another is cellulose, another is hemicellulose. So, actually, this hemicellulose and cellulose combination could be utilized for fuel preparation. They are actually polymer of carbohydrate. Now, these linkage, look at here, these linkage is actually the acetal linkage. So, here there is one hydrogen present. So, these undergo breakage during this process because by this acetal linkage monomeric carbohydrate molecules are joined together and form the polymer here you can see in case of hemicellulose similar linkages are there and by this linkage they are attached together so they could be broken down in order to get the simple sugar and this simple sugar later will be converted to alcohol by the fermentation process and this lignin is not useful so what is the importance of this bioethanol actually it burns cleaner way and reduces the emission output of fuel burning and it is safer for environment also because ethanol is not very toxic many people drinks but i don't promote that and it is better for engine health also and the point fourth and five they are very important for future perspective because they recycle one of waste means carbon dioxide because nowadays the all over the globe there is a concern that excess carbon dioxide into the atmosphere because of human activities resulting climate change global warming that's a big problem so for bioethanol we are utilizing the carbon dioxide from atmosphere this is a point and it it results in a superior global energy balance means carbon neutral economy these two points are very important it is related to biofuel and carbon cycle I am not going details here. I request you if you really want, write into the comment box. Don't worry, after some days I'll upload a dedicated video on it. So if I say carbon cycle, so in presence of sunlight, plant absorb carbon dioxide and they produce food like this. And they are gas heater, whatever CO2 they have consumed, based on that they make their body. So wood or food, both they produce. And later on by factory treatment they could be converted into biofuel and these biofuel could be utilized in cars for transport sector and be, during this process it again produces carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide could again go to the atmosphere and could be taken by the plant itself again this cycle will go on overall the sun's energy we are utilizing for running our cars means Biofuels energy is actually coming from sun. So this is the overall carbon cycle 
the biofuel. Now let's go back to our MCQ again. What is the true statement regarding acetals? So acetals are stable in base but not stable in acid. So acetals are stable in acid? No. Acetals are stable in base but unstable in acetic. Yes, this is the answer. No need to go. And I suggest you students who are uh, really interested in carbohydrate chemistry or biofuel chemistry remember this statement. It's very important. So this is the overall discussion. Thanks for watching. I'm really interested to know your opinion about biofuel and future. Please write in the comment box. And if you really want to know regarding the carbon neutrality, economics, future about biofuel, write in the comment box. I'll try to make a dedicated lecture as soon as possible. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.